Hey, we're Whiskey Fancies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. And we have Buffalo Trace today. Regular versus a store pick. Now, it's not just the best store pick because, I mean, a store pick's always going to be different. But we chose to do a store pick versus a regular to see how big of a difference really is it from the standard. Is there really a difference? Yeah, because they're kind of readily available store picks in um, at least our, in area. our area. So is it worth it, the extra five bucks or so? I mean, it's still a good value either way. But let's, uh, let's get let's it figure it out. It smells really nice. Like one with the regular one, yeah? It smells really good. It has like a sweet... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna admit, I I first didn't like Buffalo Trace. Same. When we first opened it. I thought it was average. Clearly we weren't too invested because we got a little baby bottle. Because they're very easy to find around here, so I don't want to invest in that much shelf space, you know what I'm saying? So, I was kind of happy that I only invested just a teeny tiny one, but as it's opened up, it's actually really nice. Really nice when get, it opened up. Do you get like um, maybe caramelized apple or baked apple I or something? I definitely get some apple on here. With a little caramel note at the end. I don't get the caramel. I get like a... Um, caramel apple sounds really good right about now. I guess I'm... A vanilla cinnamon apple. Did I just describe like a pie all Oh alone? my goodness. You know um um apple pie with a vanilla bean ice cream on the top? I just said pie all alone. Did you say that? I did. Totally tuned you out. It's cool. I agree though. I didn't even hear any of those words. my life tuned me out. Me. No, I'm gonna... Ah, oh, it smells really good. That was a lot better. Than re we first remembered it? Yes. Like... Then our first pour, that's for sure. The first pour, and then I remember revisiting it a little while back that you didn't tell me what it was, and I was actually surprised. Now that I know what it is, I'm not surprised, but I actually like it. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's very good. So I guess I want to do an experiment. Buy a regular 750, open it, take a couple pours out of it just to get rid of the get, get part that shoulder. I didn't care for, and let it open it up, and let's see if it, it works again. Because that's, oh god, it does smell really good. It's, it tastes good too. I'm gonna come back to it. I've been drinking. I don't get apples in the taste though. I don't. I thought I did at one point, but maybe it was I just, the other one. I get your standard bourbon flavors. There's nothing complex about it, but the nose is really, the nose is really, really nice. nice. Now, can you, do you okay. want to go into the, I'll catch up. The pit. It doesn't have the, no, the, it the doesn't vanilla have that. caramely a la mode smell, but it has a little bit of bright. I don't smell apple as pronounced. It's more of a, a bright fruit, like you said, bright, right? Yeah. Bartlett Sunshine pears. Sunshine in the glass. Pears? I don't, I don't Close know. Close to it? My equivalent to pears, or not equivalent, my... I think it's more pear-like. See, the pears that I'm used to are like, what's in the cup, or like that fruit salad. I'm not like a pear person. So, I can't, I can't help you there. Bartlett pear, or, it's not Asian pear. Mm. Anyway. Is Asian pear really a pear? It's more like an apple. It's a high, is it a hybrid? I don't know, but it's confusing, but it, it's really delicious. good. delicious. They're very juicy. They're very delicate and mild. It, this has a really, um, light nose. I can't pick up anything but bright fruit and... Maybe oak. Wow. When I first tasted it, I liked it okay. more than the regular offering. But is it that not wild? That's it's got different. more oak. It tastes a little bit more oak on it, like the tannic from the oak. It's got that. A little more bitterness mm -hmm. in the finish, right? But it's more the oak. It's not the ethanol at all. Nope. I'm not that getting... doesn't taste like the same whiskey, does no, it? No, I'm not getting any fruit. On the palate, I'm not getting any oh, of right the, the front vanillas I got, or I thought I got something right in the front that was more Just fruity. the nose is very slight of a fruit. No, there's something that's the almost tannic? fruity in the beginning, but it's, it goes away real quick. This barrel tannic that it's got is overwhelming. All the other flavors I think could be in there that I just... On the very beginning of the palate, you start to taste it, and then that barrel just takes it, over. Yeah, it's fruity and then goes barrel real quick. Yeah. But I remember when we first tried this, I was like, oh... Mm -hmm. This is the stuff. That's what people are going after. But revisiting it side by side next to it, I it's different. It's different. I like it, but I don't know if I like it more than the standard offering. 
I know, and I'm surprised because I would have. Because when yeah. I first opened it, that's mm -hmm. how I liked it. I liked the pick better. Yeah. Mm. That stinger and offering yeah. is just really good. I don't. What are your thoughts? For less than twenty-five dollars, hell yeah. Yeah, and then when you get it at this tiny size, the tiny size, a little bigger very size. Very economical. And you can fit another bottle on the shelf, so it has a big of a footprint. I definitely yeah. taste a difference. They're, I know, definitely. Yeah. They're both. I think they're both good. Uh, however, today I like the this standard one. offering. The no, regular. that doesn't mean for all picks. It no, could be different. Just, they could just be this one. We yeah. don't know. And we've had it for a while. Could be the air. It's changed a little bit. I remember it being different when we first opened yeah. it. Like the air? It's more, it's it was good for this. This one was more uh, honey when we first opened yeah. it, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Anyway, I think they're both great. Mm hmm I don't really, if you like Buffalo Trace and you can get mm -hmm. a pick, I do recommend them just yeah, because absolutely. they're, it's it's fun experiment to compare them to the regular and see which one you like better and then mm -hmm. come back and revisit and they, like us, they may have yeah. changed, so yeah. I don't know about and you, then but. Also the pick, sometimes if you're lucky you can find them in like how we get, oh, got a 375, right. there's also a 750, there's also a liter size and you can yeah. get that for like twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, they're very economical. And then you get a 1.75 too as well, which yeah. is like, if that's your thing, then it's not that much um, of a price difference than the regular Buffalo right. Trace, so, so I would recommend I recommend it. picks. Of Buffalo Trace. I do, but side by side on this particular pick, after opening up, I actually prefer the regular Buffalo Trace, and I'm surprised I'm saying this. Cheers. Cheers.